what is number four of our countdown? Well, this time we'll talk about prosthetic valve disease. Obviously, echocardiography plays a very important role, especially TE, but, but now we've got two new kids on the block, CT and PET-CT, especially photon counting CT, which has an incredible image resolution. Where can you use it for? Well, you can detect thrombi in TAVI valves, which is not such an uncommon complication and where echocardiography very frequently is not able to detect those thrombi. In addition, PET-CT is a modality which helps you in the setting of endocarditis because you can see if infiltration or if abscess formation, for example, is present in the perivalvular region. This is often very difficult to detect with echocardiography. So if you have the suspicion of prosthetic valve dysfunction, but echocardiography cannot provide the answer, don't forget to use these other imaging modalities. This has heavily been stated in the most recent guidelines. And for those of you who are interested to learn more about prosthetic valves, we have an entire focus class.